Good day everyone, welcome back to another in the series, this is Mr. Bennett, today we'll be looking at inequality, it's a very simple topic, but yet it can be very difficult. Let's start off by showing you what the sign and what it means. So this means less than, this is less than or equal to. This is greater than and this is greater than or equal to. So that's the first thing guys we need to know what is it. And with inequalities, it's a range of values, not just one value, it is a range. So for example, if we say greater than four. It would not just be 5, it's continuous, right? 5, 6, all the numbers greater than 4. And if we say greater than or equal to 4, we have to include 4 because it's equal to 4. So it's very important to know that. Alright, so let us look at some past paper questions. Yeah. It's not a topic that really comes frequently. I had to dig hard to find this question. All right, let us start off very simple. Let's say we have x plus 5 is greater than or equal to 12. Now, we treat it the same way like how we do equations. However, we must maintain this greater than or equal to sign. But as I say, it's a range of values. It's not just one value, it's more than one. So... We get rid of this positive 5 by finding the inverse. The inverse of positive 5 is minus 5. Just like equation, what we do to one side, we do to both sides. So that 12 minus 5 is 7. So it means that for all the values greater than 7 or equal. So 7, let's say we tried 8. 8 plus 5. It's greater than 12, right? Greater than or equal to 12. See, 8 plus 5 is 13. 13 is indeed greater than... Let us try 9. 9 plus 5. 9 plus 5 is 14. So all of these are possible answers. So that's why I say it's a range of values, not just one. All right. Let us look at another one. Little bit more complicated, but the same principle. 2x plus 5. And show why CSEC gave this easy one greater than 15. Now, this is simple. All we have to do is the same thing. We want to get x by itself, so we get rid of finding the inverse of negative positive 5, which is negative 5. What we do to one side, we do to both sides. So we are left with this. 15 minus 5, which is 10. So therefore, we divide by 2. So x is greater than 5. Alright, let us look. And x greater than 5 would be 6, 7, 8. Notice, because it's greater than, we do not include 5 not just 5 we don't include 5 because it doesn't say greater than or equal to so this it will start from 6 7 8 4 all right let us look at one that is much more complicated not sure which year this was but all right so we have two brackets x minus 6 plus 3x is less than or equal to 8. Now, just like with equations, we need to get rid of the bracket, and the bracket means to multiply. So we expand the bracket. Everyone should be able to do that. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times negative 6 is negative 12. Put the plus 3x. The 
x term are equal to a. Now, at this point, we have x term, x term, and we have number. So we're going to group the like terms. Group ter like terms are like x's. So put them together. Sina stay with Sina. Christians stay with Christians. All right. So we still need to get rid of this negative 12 because we want to get x by itself, right? So we add 12, which is the opposite, or the inverse. So now we can compute. 2x plus 3x would be 5x. 8 plus 12 is 20. Now 5 times a number is less than or equal to 12. 20. We divide by both sides by 5. So x is greater than or equal to 4. And that would be your answer. Alright guys, I want you guys to try this one. And leave the answer in the comment section thank you guys for watching have a nice day